In today's lesson, you will learn to build the basic chords on the major scale. And as you'll see, this will be an extremely important thing for you because it will allow you to take a major step, we could say, forward regarding the knowledge and use of chords and also the, the way you understand chords if you ever actually use them already and it will also allow you to understand the base on which they are built, they as in chords. So starting off we must define the concepts of chord and as we have said multiple times a chord is the simultaneous sounding of at least three tones at least three tones, three or more. For example if we play C, E and G at the same time of course this is defined as a chord, or better, we can also call this, not better, it's not better, but it's an, another term is a triad because it is formed by three tones. There are some chords that are built on four or five or as many tones as you actually want. The important fact is to be able to refer to the term chord, the sounding of the tones must be of at least three tones, three or more tones. In this case, when three tones are played at the same time, we can also use the term triad, which means the sounding of three tones at the same time. Three notes um, in one chord, we can also call them triad. The questions we have to ask ourselves once we want to understand how chords are built on a scale, in today's case, the major scale, are the following. So, uh, first off, the first question we will ask ourselves uh, is this. How do we find these three notes that make up the triad and the three-tone chord? How do we actually um, realize which notes are useful? The second question is, how many chords of are there corresponding to one certain scale? Let's answer the second question first. Let's imagine we are discussing the C major scale. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then the C from the following octave. Okay, so there are, uh, in respect to the scale and in the corresponding tonality, in this case the C major tonality, if we are discussing the C major scale as, as we are now, there are as many chords as the number of degrees of the scale. So in the case of the C major scale, we have seven degrees, C, D, E, F, G, A, and B. First, second, third degree, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. So we will have seven chords, which means that on the C major scale, we will be able to build seven different chords. So in the, in the C major tonality, we can use seven chords. Seven chords within our reach, so to say. That's because the C major tonality is based on the C major scale. This is the answer to the second question, which we tackled first, relative to how many chords there are corresponding to one certain scale. At this point, the problem is, how do we find the chords? How do we build the chords starting from the scale? In this case, the, the C major scale that we have decided to use for our first example. So. You know, basically, to find the chords, we have to start from any degree of the scale. The degree whence we want to build the chord from. As we've said, we want to build the chords on the degrees because we will have seven chords and every chord corresponds to a certain precise degree. So we can start from the first degree, the C. Because we're going to use them all sooner or later anyway. Okay, so for for us, the first note of the chord, chord is formed by the same degree where we start from, the one we're using from the scale. So if we want to build a chord on the first degree of the C major scale, the first note of the chord will be the corresponding note of the first degree, in this case the C note. So how do we find the other two notes? How do we determine the other two notes that form the chord corresponding to the first degree, starting from the note C, we will use this general rule. And we can also call this a method of finding. The chord is formed and built by superposing intervals of a third. 
of course, harmonic intervals because we are discussing the simultaneous sounding of tones. So the chord is built by superposing intervals of a third using the notes of the scale we're we are building the chords on. So we can only use the notes of the C major scale in this case. Let's see this in practice. How do we actually build the chord by superposition of the intervals of a third 